the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power, and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine, and protect what is your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will come upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. For greater than the offerings and sacrifices of the old covenant, is the obedience of Christ, who came into the world in total submission to God's plan of salvation. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifice and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desire nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Christ Jesus once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant left in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how, this, and how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb left for joy. Blessed are you who believe, that was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. Pamilyar sa atin ng Gospel. Ito yung visitation ni Maria kay Elizabeth. 
na siguro patunayan ni kay, ni Maria kung totoo yung sinabi ng anghel no sapagkat yun ang dahilan kung bakit dadalawin niya si Elizabeth na despite old age buntis six months pregnant eh sa mga Hudyo daw uh, ugali na yun mga kababi mga babaeng Hudyo na pagmamalasakit sa isa't isa bakit siguro si second class lang sila sa society no yun ang unang intensyon hindi pumunta si Maria para sabihin na uy sinipa ko ng anghel na ako magiging ina ng anak ng Diyos hindi yun nangyari lang si Elizabeth mismo ang nakaramdam no ito na no hindi niya si Debbie ang dire-direct sa si Elizabeth na ba ang linaw-linaw sa gospel po no tumalon yung si John the Baptist sa tihen niya ni Elizabeth sa tuwa. Eh, hindi pa siya si Debbie na Maria na ako na magigiy ako. So, kita niyo, yung pagdalaw, hindi lamang pag-usisa, kundi merong uh, kalakip na pagmamalasakit. No? Kaya yun ang... Hindi man, alam nyo, hindi man si Debian si Elizabeth ng Anghel na ayan si Maria pagdating ganun ang yan ang magiging no hindi no personal yang naramdaman na si Maria ay hindi lamang pinagpala sa lahat ng kababaihan kung si ang tunay na kaulugan ang ah, iyon ang tunay na kaulugan ng pagbis pagdalaw niya yung pagbisita no pagmamalasakit alam niyo kung siyan, sabi nga, <laughs> lagi natin itong naririnig sa, nakikita ko sa TV, no? Yung, yung uh, hidlaw, sabi, sabi saya, hidlaw yung, yung pag, inaasahan natin, lalo na ngayong Christmas, no? Yung pagdalaw. Kadalasan, nakakalimutan na yun, no? Ngunit, okay naman sa panahon ngayon, kasi, Meron naman tayong Zoom, meron tayong ano, nakikita-kita pa rin tayo kahit sang parte ng mundo. Ngunit, iba pa rin yung harap mo ng tunay, no? Na, na tao yung gusto mong makita, especially ngayong kapanahon na ng Pasko. Of course, sabi nga niya, bakit nangyayari ang ganun, hindi lamang sa pandemic, kundi kuminsan dahil sa ating tarbaho, ano? Wala nga maniwala sa akin na since 1970, hindi pa ako nakapag-Christmas sa bahay. Ang galing, no? Para hero, no? Totoo, no? Mula nang pumasa kami, hindi mo ako celebrate ng Christmas sa bahay na nakasama nila. Ngunit, tanggap naman ng mga kapatid ko, sa mga magulang ko, sapat trabaho yan. Walang magagawa si father sa yun sa gusto, <laughs> <laughs> Buti lang ngayon, sabi ka, pero tayo yung uh, Zoom, so, uh, virtual, kaya mas masaya pa rin, no? May kahit na medyo may kunting lungkot, tinatanggap natin na talagang ganito ang panahon ngayon. Kaya napakalaga yung sabi, hindi lamang yung kahulugan ng pagbisita, pag-alaala sa ating mga minamal sa buhay, Higit para sa lahat yung pagmamalasakit, gaya ko nuwari yung totoo naman, nakakayak po, no? Kapag yung in-interview sa TV yung mga anak na wala na silang hinihiling o di makapiling yung kanilang nanay sa Christmas. At wala naman magawa yung nanay sa Christmas. Merong quarantine, merong ubos na yung bakasyon nila. Wala rin mangyayari para bang nakita lang sila sa airport, babalik na naman sa tarbaho o ganun. At least, no? Naintindihan, no? Kaya yun, at least yun ang tingin sa kabutihan ng mass media ngayon, no? Na umpawan kahit kunti yung mga, uh, mga, mga bagay na minimiti natin sa buhay, lalo-lalo na kapag panahon ng Pasko. Ngunit, sabi nga, lumilipas rin yan. Totoo. Ngunit, hindi natin binabaliwala 
sa paglipas ng panahon, uh, nag-iiba-iba nga ang season, sa gaya na sa simbahan, and yet, no? Yung attachment, yung connection, nandiyan pa rin. Sapagat yung connection, hindi lamang nangyayari kapag katabi mo yung tao. Lalong-lalo na pag malayo kayo, pag lalo mong namimiss yung tao, lalo kang hindi nag-aalala. Ano? So, of course, hindi natin ma maalis yung pag-aalala. Ngunit yung pagmamalasakit natin sa kanila ay laging nandiyan. Kaya nga mo, dito rin, kung narin sa manawag, no? Mara Kaya nga sabi namin, siguro yung mga minagsisimba sa manawag, mga two years ago pa, bakit? Kapag yung tapos ang misa, ala nyo, before pandemic, buwan palak pa kayo. <laughs> Inalis na po yun. <laughs> Kasi hindi parte ng sibahan yung palakpak, hindi na may maintindihan, pinalakpakan nyo ba yung pare? O pinalakpakan nyo ba yung sa pagkatapos ng misa? Eh, kinagawian natin, no? Kaya kung naalata namin yung itong manakarang linggo, bakit kaya kung mapalakpak yung mga tao? Ibig sabihin, bagong balik sila. Na, of course, may, may nakakausap ko sa likod. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam kapag nakabalik sa manawag, no? Imagine, more than two years. No? Kaya nakikita na sa mga mga petition letters kasi nagbabasa rin ako doon. Ayun, paano pa sa salamat nila na nag they tried their best uh, last year or few, few months ago, nahirapan silang pumasok talaga sa doon sa checkpoint. <laughs> Ilang ulit na silang pinabalik. Kaya lalong-lalong na kapag weekend, no? Sabado, linggo, kahit mga Kapatid ko, huwag na huwag kayong pupunta sa Manawag ng Sabado Linggo sapagkat maiinis lang kayo dahil sa traffic, dahil sa tao, at tigis sa lahat. May nag-aabang sa inyo doon, baka hindi kayo papasukin. Sasakit lang loob nyo, makaawain nyo pa. Mali. <laughs> so, you come any, any other day, pero huwag ganun, no? Kaya ganun, siguro ganun interpretation namin. Ba't mo mga palakwa? Sabi kasi bisyo, hindi na party yun. Totoo naman, no? Hindi natin mapigilan yung galak na tayo makabalik, makabisita uli sa manawag. Kaya yun ang isang bagay na kahanga-hanga dito sa manawag, no? Yung pagbabalik ng mga pilgrims. Maraming mga dahilan. Ngunit yung isang, sabi natin, yung simple bagay na makabalik, eh, masaya na sila. Gaya nga nung siya, sabi namin, lalo pa po nung nakabalik yung mga bata, nakabalik yung mga senior citizen, hindi naman natin may tago, kahit na magsumbrero kami, kahit magpalit kami ng attire, senior citizen pa rin ang tingin namin, no? mahina ng tuhod. O rin, masaya, no? Nak nakakabalik ka. Kaya, ang gandang uh, pangitain, no? yung mga bagay na yun. Kaya yun ang lagay nating ay isa po sa buhay no may kad of course may kadahilanan kung paano natin na uh, hindi ko makuha yung word yung bagay kung bakit tayo bumibisita sa mga mahal sa buhay binibigyan nating halaga uh, higit sa lahat yung napansin natin hindi lamang sa pagdamay kahit na simple greetings, gaya ng sinabi ng pare kaninang umaga, no? greeting to one another with Merry Christmas, ay napaka ganda ang dating. Kung sa tunay na katuturan ito, ang dahilan. No? Ibig sabihin, we said, Merry Christmas because you are concerned about the person. You don't, of course, pag nag-response, okay na, masaya ka na nun. Ngunit sabi nga, Ganong bagay, kaya sabi natin sa gospel ngayon, naging masaya si Maria sapagat natupad yung kayang reason kung bakit nga dinalaw, dinalaw si Elizabeth. Si Elizabeth naman, naging masaya sapagat natunghayan niya hindi lamang yung ina ng Diyos, kundi yung, sinapu, na, yung anak ng Diyos na nasa sinapupunan ni Maria. Kahit ang simple Uh, greetings, yung mga feelings sa ganun, and yet, andun saya, no? Naramdaman nung 
dalawang babaeng nakita. Sabi nga ng mga komentarista, si Maria, of course, of that time, after six months or so, three, three months sa siyang ano, and yet yung travel niya, no, napakalayo, ilang araw nilalakad. Lalaka rin pa, <laughs> pa para nang makapunta sa lugar na yun. And, and yet, nakaya sapagkat sabi ko nga, hindi lamang sa mahudyo na isang sa relisyon, magtulungan ang mga bambay. Kundi, sabi nga, para patunayan niya sa kanyang sarili ang sinabi ng anghel na pinagpala rin ang iyong pinsan na si Elizabeth. Pasti tayo pa tayo. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us ask the Father to give us a welcome heart, ready to prepare the way of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who alone can give us the fullness of joy and peace. After his petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Like Mary, who brought joy to her cousin Elizabeth, May the Church, the people of God, be bearers of glad tidings to the hopeless, the lonely, the sick, the suffering, and the victims of all forms of injustices. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our government leaders be sensitive to the needs of the people they promise to serve, and be promoters of justice, peace, and love. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us respect and defend the rights of the unborn, be sensitive to the situation of pregnant women, and provide better opportunities for the youth. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May all families in the world possess a spirit of unity amidst the crisis brought about by the pandemic. May they be more supportive, understanding, and forgiving to each other. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our departed brothers and sisters be cradled by the love and joy that is brought about by God's eternal presence. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, hear the prayer of your people. It strengthen our weak knees and fickle hearts that we may receive you with joy and renewed strength 
We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar just as he filled with power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his incarnation so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels, archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May hold it therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was in, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me." The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis is assistant bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joseph and all the saints, who bless you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. As a Savior to men and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
receive us, Lord, we pray for every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord 
who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bravery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may be pressed together all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa simbahan na humihiling na gumaling sa anumang karamdaman o makaiwas sa anumang sakit. Isama na rin po natin yung sa ating mga tahanan, lalo na yung mga senior citizen na hindi na makapunta sa simbahan. Nakakarating po yan sa kanila, maniwala kayo. Pinapakinggan ng Diyos yung pagmamalasakit natin sa kanila. Salamat po. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name we ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries and other religi religious articles. Uh, kung dala nyo, ila ilabas nyo lang po, huwag na kong alis sa uh, kinatatayuan nyo. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other released articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.